What is a visco girl? For the past like month or so, I have been seeing all over Twitter, visco girl this, visco girl that. And then recently, in like the past few days, I've been seeing videos pop up on my YouTube feed about visco girls. And like, I know what visco is. It's an editing app. I've been using visco since like I was in high school to edit my photos and I'm a girl, but I don't think that makes me a visco girl. I'm pretty sure it's like the Gen Z version of being a Tumblr girl, but I'm not totally sure. So I'm gonna do some internet research, try to figure out what the heck a visco girl is, and then see if I can transform myself into one. If you're new to my channel, do make sure to subscribe. I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday, and I would love to have you here. Now let's get into it, okay. To Google, what is a visco girl? The first thing that comes up is a BuzzFeed article that says, Visco girls are taking over social media. That's Visco as in the photo editing and sharing app. Notorious for flattering filters with minimal name. Okay, this is not actually telling me. You know what I'm gonna do while I do my internet research? I'm gonna post on my Instagram story because I'm sure some of you guys out there know what a Visco girl is. Maybe one of you is a Visco girl and you can, you can educate me. You know, I'm only 23. But I think this is the beginning of me feeling old and out of touch on the internet. <laughs> like, what's a TikTok? What are these visco girls? You guys, I need your help. I'm feeling out of touch. What is a visco girl? Can you please tell me? What is a visco girl? What do visco girls do? Maybe some examples of visco girls for my research. What do they wear? What are they like? Let me I'm know. starting this video off like first thing in the morning. It's like 8.30 right now. I got no makeup on. My hair's not done. All I did is brush my teeth. I'm basically a blank slate to become a visco girl. So, okay, back to my research. Urban Dictionary calls them the Tumblr girls of 2019. Okay, so I was pretty on point with that. All right. Your typical visco girl has a very specific list of items. A hydro flask water bottle, a scrunchie around her wrist, a crop top from Brandy Melville or oversized tee, handmade friendship bracelets, a puka shell necklace, and Birkenstocks. I love Birkenstocks or Crocs. <laughs> Is my little brother a visco girl? Because for Christmas last year, he asked for Crocs unironically and he wears them. I think not. <laughs> she probably has a fajar, fajar, fajar ribbon backpack. I know what kind of backpack that is. I just don't know how to pronounce it. With a reusable metal straw inside and she's whizzing past you on a penny board. Her makeup is light and natural, topped off with Carmax. Her hair, likely blonde, has easy beach waves. Is a visco girl like the YouTube kind of like quirky, relatable teen vlogger? Like the Emma Chamberlains and like the Ellie Thumans and the, the Summer like the Summer McKeans, are those visco girls? Cause it sounds like they're describing them. Okay, this is what I need. This BuzzFeed article gives a little photo of an Instagram visco girl starter pack. This is exactly what I need. Okay, checkered vans, Crocs, Birkenstocks, Mar oh, Mario Badesco skincare, I actually love that brand. Carmax, reusable metal straw, shell necklace, scrunchies, Birkenstocks, wavering, hydro flask. Are hydro flasks like trendy? I just spent the last 40 minutes doing a ton of research on Visco Girls, and I think I get it now. I won't subject you guys to all of that footage. I read the Urban Dictionary definition, I found a good Seventeen Magazine article, and then I found this YouTube video, which I think was the tipping point for me understanding what a Visco Girl is. L let me play it. I've got my notes app ready. Let's do this. All right, we have a long list. Let's read the song. Shell necklaces, anklets, all right now let me open up my instagram and see if there's anything else that you guys are hip to that i didn't figure out okay i'm seeing hydroflask Scrunchy, seashell necklace, oversized tees. 
pretty much the same stuff, tube top and mom jeans. They take Instagram photos and ride Jeeps and are very beachy. Hydro flask, Birkenstock scrunchies. Okay, I'm seeing like a lot of the same thing. Being a visco girl is like effortless. Like you can't call yourself a visco girl, otherwise you're not a visco girl. Like you don't choose the visco life. The visco life chooses you. <laughs> so I'm already not a visco girl by doing a video where I try to be a visco girl. I've already ruined it. It's only downhill from here. <laughs> the internet said it's like a Tumblr girl, but honestly, from my research, it seems like it's kind of the anti-Tumblr girl. Like Tumblr girls were kind of tryhards. Like everything had to be perfect and aesthetic. And with Visco girls, it's like you can't try hard. You just have to naturally be effortless. Like the makeup is very natural and dewy. You're wearing Crocs and Birkenstocks and just like kind of baggy t-shirts. What's interesting to me is that Visco is like a photo app, right? So you would think that everything would be like perfectly aesthetic. But I think what makes a Visco girl is taking, you know, traditionally non-aesthetic things like Crocs and chapstick and somehow with your effortless, beautiful, natural beauty, making it aesthetic, but it's effortless. It's, it's not staged, it's not supposed to be perfect. You just got ready really quick, you know, you're just walking around with your hydro flask because you care about the planet, and then like, oh look, I'm also just like effortlessly perfect. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I got a response from my little brother. He said, ha ha ha, I know exactly what you're talking about. No, I'm not a visco girl. Visco girls wear trendy things that other girls generally wouldn't wear. Old people would say they wear weird things, like Crocs. I bet you some of Austin's friends are visco girls. He's at school. Maybe I could ask him at lunch to ask some of his friends who are visco girls what visco girls do. Also, I need to figure out what like visco girls eat because I'm gonna have to get lunch at some point today. Okay. And are, is there like specific things that visco girls like eat or drink? Like what do they get at Starbucks? Where do they go? What kind of food do they like? <laughs> Check it out, guess I'm already a visco girl. Got my Mario Badescu skincare here, some little uh, witch hazel and rose water toner. This is just my regular toner. All right, I'm gonna do my Aloe Light Hydrating Daily Moisturizer from Hello Body. This may not be like a specific visco girl brand, but it's all natural, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it's approved. So I had curled my hair yesterday, so today it's just kind of like messy with a little bit of wave left into it. I'm gonna need some dry shampoo on my roots for sure. I'll put in a little bit of hair oil to kind of calm down the ends of my hair and then we'll see what we have to work with from there. So here's where we're at. Honestly, it might be best just to like leave my hair the way it is. Maybe I'll like straighten out a few of these pieces that are like a little bit too curled. And then that's kind of like the natural beachy visco girl look. I, I kind of like this aesthetic. Don't really have to do my hair. Not really gonna have to do much makeup. You know what? I might be team visco girl. All right, makeup time. Hopefully I don't like overdo this. We just want to make me look nice and like sun-kissed, nice and bronzed. I think a good tan is a big part of being a visco girl too. We want that thick, bold brow. I think also part of the brow look for visco girls is you don't want it like pressed down. You want that kind of like furrowed, like dimensional brow. So I'm also gonna kind of like brush up on the hair. Like, right? I think this is, this is kind of it. Or maybe I'm totally wrong and everyone's gonna roast me in the comments, so go for it. <laughs> Okay, what do we think? Did I get the Visco brow? I feel very like Cara Delevingne with these. <laughs> now I know everyone says that the Visco girls use Carmax. That was like a big thing I saw when I was doing my research. So I might buy some when I'm out today, but for now I'm just gonna use this Glossier Rose Balm.com. And then I think just mascara. Yeah, I think that's it and then I'm good. One thing I am noticing with all of my visco girl research is that they all seem to be predominantly tall, thin, and white. I don't know if that's actually true or just what I saw with my research. And I am not tall or thin, so I guess I'm gonna bring a little bit of variety to the visco girl look. Okay, what do we think? I can already envision the puka shell necklace right here and me in like direct sunlight giving like a sultry glare. <laughs> I'm gonna get dressed. I don't think I have anything that like works as a visco girl here, so I'll have to buy an outfit at Urban Outfitters, but let's go, let's do it. 
Bella, are you a Visco dog? Oh, yes, you are. Oh, it's so aesthetically pleasing. Oh, yes, YouTubers are you too. Okay, so this is my reusable water, and yes, it is just as gigantic as it looks on camera in real life. This is the biggest size they sell on Amazon. I like it because it's 64 ounces. Wait, yeah, 64 ounces, so that's my water intake for the day, and I never have to refill it. I'm not gonna buy an actual hydro flask. I'm just gonna carry this giant thing with me all day because one of the Visco Girl Essentials is, you know, caring about the environment. And I don't think it would be very caring about the environment if I just bought a hydro flask and never used it again because I have this big guy. So uh, this water bottle it is, I'm gonna fill it up. Also, I have Birkenstocks, so I'm gonna wear these since these were listed as one of the footwear options for a Visco Girl. I am a blank canvas. Paint me like one of your Visco girls. Oh my gosh, I hate myself. <laughs> On my way to Urban Outfitters, I'm gonna stop at Starbucks and I asked you guys on Instagram, like, what are Visco Girl foods and drinks? And so many people said the Starbucks pink drink, which I have actually never tried. Like, I thought that was like a James Charles thing. Is James Charles a Visco Girl? I feel like the Visco Girl hole goes deeper and deeper every time I dig a little bit. <laughs> so I'm gonna try the pink drink for the first time. Okay, I got my pink drink. I forgot to bring my reusable, like, refillable Starbucks cup, but... I do have my reusable straw. So I'm still visco in it up, still saving the environment a little bit. Pop this bad boy in. I I didn't know the pink drink came with like strawberries in it. This is cute. I don't know if this is gonna be good enough for my Instagram feed, but maybe I'll take a photo, edit it on visco, and then put it on my Instagram story. I don't think driving a Toyota Camry is very visco. <laughs> I never edit photos that I put on my story. Like I really only use Visco for like Instagram feed photos, but we're getting like next level Visco here. Okay, let me add this into Visco. I have like a preset on here that I use. Let me see if that looks Visco enough. I think we need to do a little bit more. Like I don't think this is enough. Let me pull up the filter I usually use, which is C2. And I'm just gonna do full max. And then I'm gonna add some more little editing things. Do Visco girls like cool tones or warm tones? I'm not totally sure. I think it's pretty neutral. Increase the pinks, make it look more pinkity drinkity. Let's bump up that saturation. I also think they make it more grainy. Can I add more grain here? Oh, here's the grain filter. I've never, I never add like graininess to my photos. Like, I feel like I'd rather have my photos be more clear, but I see how this makes it look more visco girl. I, I think it's a delicate balance though. Like if I go all the way to this side, it just looks bad. But then on this side, it's a little too clear. So maybe like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's it. That's it, girlfriend. And on to the Instagram story it goes. Am I a visco girl yet? Let's do a little poll. All right, that looks good. Let's post it. Now I'll actually try the drink, see what we think of it. I don't know if this is gonna be too sweet for me. I don't really like sweet things. Oh, I got like a whole chunk of strawberry. I mean, it's sweet, but it's good. It tastes very sugary. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say this drink uh, wouldn't usually be for me, but I will, I will drink it and enjoy it today. But if this is what Visco girls have to drink every day, I don't think I could be a Visco girl. I'm gonna stick with my unsweetened iced tea and my cappuccinos. Okay, I for real cannot finish this drink. It is so sweet. It's literally making me sick to my stomach. I am really sensitive to sweet things. I just don't like sweets. So uh, I think I'm actually gonna trash this and uh, just stick to my, my knock off Amazon Hydro Flask for the day because I can't commit. This is not good. <laughs> I'm
expensive. This was 200 bucks. And I didn't even buy all the stuff. Like, I'm just gonna wear the jean shorts that I already had. I already own Birkenstocks. I didn't buy a hydro flask. Like, you know what? The Visco Girl Life, it's pricey. Not gonna lie. Costs a lot to look effortless, I guess. <laughs> so let me show you what I got. So we have the, still can't pronounce it, Flajarga Harvin backpack thing. <laughs> this was the most expensive thing. It was $80. And I was just gonna use it for a photo and then return it. But my production assistant, Carly, who is gonna be taking my photos later, high key, she's totally a Visco girl, but she says she's not, which makes her even more of a Visco girl. And I know she's been wanting one of these backpacks, so I'm gonna give it to her after the shoot. I got the puka shell necklace, which at first I thought they didn't have. And then I was talking to one of the employees and she's like, oh, I think we just got some in. Let me go look in the back. And she grabbed one for me. So that was awesome. I got two options for oversized t-shirts. We'll see which one I end up wearing, but I'm definitely gonna keep both of them anyways. I love wearing big baggy t-shirts to sleep, so I will actually get a lot of use out of these. Two packs of scrunchies. This seems to be like the key essential item to being a Visco girl, just scrunchies on scrunchies. And I actually do like scrunchies a lot, so I will actually use these outside of this video. And to finish off my dewy non-makeup makeup look, I got a Mario Badesco facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. So I'll just give myself a little spritz once I'm dressed to complete the look. I think I'm ready to go. Let's go find a bathroom and get visco <laughs> Also, I posted that photo earlier asking if the pink drink made me a visco girl yet, and all my DMs say no because I'm using a reusable plastic straw and not a reusable metal straw. Apparently, it's like specifically metal straws that visco girls use. So even though I went with a reusable straw, it wasn't the right kind. And then of course, in Urban Outfitters, the home of the visco girl, right at the checkout register, they had like a whole thing of metal reusable straws. <laughs> Urban Outfitters did me well. I was able to get everything I needed there. And Carly is here now. And Carly, I'm actually convinced you are a real Visco girl. Great. <laughs> Let me show you Carly's outfit. Like, you have the Birkenstocks, the Hydro Flask. Your outfit is cute as heck. Like, you are adorable. <laughs> I don't have the scrunchie on my wrist today because you were making fun of me for it yesterday. <laughs> No, but see that's the thing you would have worn the scrunchie, but it's in my bag. Oh my god And you take film photos. You really are. You really are a visco girl. Am I doing it right? You can judge me Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I look like a visco girl. Am, am I missing any elements? No, all right, let's go get lunch okay. <laughs> Very visco of me in natural lighting in a little coffee house I asked Instagram what visco girl food is and the most common responses were acai bowls and avocado toast. So I got both. Both of these are actually things that I do like, so maybe I'm more of a Visco girl than I originally thought. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Much more my speed than the Visco girl pink drink. Oh, wait, one more thing. I have to take an aesthetic picture of it for my Instagram. And of course, edit it with Visco. Although I probably should have done that before I took a bite of the acai bowl. How do I make it like like less staged. Like I need to make it a planned, it, like a planned candid. All right, cool. Man, Visco girls go through a lot before they actually get to eat their avocado toast. <laughs> Let me edit this, make it more grainy. That was some of the feedback I got on my first Instagram story Visco girl post. It wasn't grainy enough. And then I'll post it and then I'll actually get to eat. <laughs> All right, check out this Visco edit I just did. It's extra, extra grainy. I used the C1 filter instead of the C2. I think it's looking pretty good. Let's post it. All right, that was delicious. Our resident real Visco girl, Carly, is finishing off the acai bowl. I'm taking some sips from my uh, not hydro flask, hydro flask. I need to uh, scrunch up my eyebrows again. They're getting a little bit too pressed down. I need that like messy eyebrow look still. I posted that picture of my lunch and let's see how many people said I have reached peak Visco girl. 95%, 95% of people say that now I am a Visco girl. But when I posted this photo, 
only 71% did. And I checked my DMs and everyone's saying it's because my hair is down and not up in a bun with a scrunchie. I thought you could be a visco girl as long as your hair was like kind of messy and beachy, even if it was down, but apparently to reach my like final evolution of being a visco girl, I gotta put my hair up into a messy bun, which I'm not complaining about. I don't mind wearing my hair up, it's kinda hot today, so it'll be good to have it off my neck, out of my face. And I'm actually really, really loving the like visco girl, no makeup, makeup look. I like having that thicker, bolder brow with having them messed up a little bit, no face makeup, just mascara and some bronzer. I feel cute, I like it. Now let's go to the beach and uh, see the final transformation. <laughs> All right, Carly, how messy is my messy bun supposed to be? Um, not a 10 and the messy scale, okay. but probably like a seven and a half. Like, are there hairs coming? Like, yes. Should I pull some out? Yes. Okay. We the, want the baby hairs. There's a, an art to this, but it can't look like I did it on purpose. No right? effort. No, no effort. effort, but effort. Yes. Effort to have no effort. Exactly. That's cute. That, that's that cute. Is this it? Ah, uh, there's one sticking up. Dang it. Wait, this one? Yeah. Did I get it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go to the beach and take some visco pictures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my question is, with all the messy baby hairs and like the glossy wet chapstick lip, how do you not just get the hairs all up in your lip? Because every time the wind blows, they're getting stuck and it's really gross. I gotta take a selfie and post it on my Instagram story with my visco editing, which I feel like I've kind of got down now. It's C1, a little bit of exposure. I actually lessen the saturation and then super, super grainy. So let's try to get this photo. I think I got one. Let me edit it and post it, make sure I'm peak visco girl, and then we'll go down to the beach, and unless there's any adjustments that need to be made. I, I want this to be perfect. Uh, man, there's so many little baby hairs in my chapstick lips. I see the beach. Our burks are on their way. <laughs> Such a visco girl. Look at you in your natural habitat. <laughs> Instagram photo shoot. I think the visco girl aesthetic is honestly closer to my personal taste than I originally expected. The only thing I'm not a super big fan of is just like the long baggy shirt with like shorts kind of peeking out. If I was gonna like adjust the visco girl style for myself, I would have like tucked the shirt in, done a little brown belt. I didn't think I was gonna like the shell necklace, but it's actually kind of fun. It's kind of cute. Love a messy bun, love scrunchies. And Carly, although the backpack is cute, I think you would enjoy it more than I would. So Aww. this is for you. Aww. You can also be peak visco girl form now. <laughs> Aww, I made it. Thank and you. And you know what? Your hydro flask knockoff is better than my hydro flask knockoff. So this was this was like the finishing touch for the photo. <laughs> One last update before I end the video. My little brother did get back to me on asking his friends what makes a visco girl. So I will insert what he said here. Honestly, I feel like it's pretty similar to what my own research showed me. But yeah, that was my transformation into a visco girl. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more weird videos like this. Be confident, love your body, and I will see you on Friday with another new video where there aren't loud waves crashing in the background. Bye, love you.